sixteen months later a saturn one b rocket launched apollo seven into earth orbit astronauts practice rendezvous and simulated docking procedures as millions watch their live tv pictures of the earth from orbit We have you go for orbit here. Go for orbit. Beautiful. This is Apollo 8 uh, coming to you live from the moon. Apollo 8, history's first manned flight to the vicinity of another celestial body. Apollo 9, the first docking of the command module with the lunar module. The first rehearsal in the lunar environment. Then Apollo 11, July 20th, Four months later, a second trio of Americans arrived at the moon. They encountered Surveyor from an earlier mission. Next up, in April 1970, Apollo 13. Yeah. Yeah. 
that's that's understandable. Uh, you can you can always use them if you have to. Two days into the mission, an oxygen tank exploded in the command service module. The crew faced the prospect of slow suffocation. At 141 hours, 30 minutes, ground the last time. Right by the high gate antenna, the whole panel was thrown out, almost from the base to the engine. But using the reserves of oxygen in the lunar module, and with that module as their lifeboat, they were able to return safely to Earth. January 1971, Apollo 14, the first manned landing in and exploration of the lunar highlands. More firsts, Apollo 15, June 1971. The crew carried eight scientific experiments in a section of the command module. They also made good use of the lunar rover for the first time. Well, I see I'm going to have to keep on the road. Boy, it's really rolling hills, Joe. Just like 14. Up and down we go. Uh, it feels like we need to see something, don't it? Yeah, yeah, really do. March 1972, Apollo 16. The astronauts landed in the Descartes Highlands. They covered more than 16 miles in the lunar rover, collecting rock samples and setting up scientific instruments. Nine months later, Apollo 17, the last of the Apollo flights. Astronauts landed in the moon's Taurus mountain region. Using the lunar rover, they gathered 243 pounds of lunar samples. Apollo sent a dozen Americans to rove the surface of the moon and 15 others to fly into the grasp of its one-sixth gravity. They took the measure of the moon and in so doing took the measure of themselves and demonstrated the human potential. They brought back rocks, but as Mike Collins later told a joint session of Congress, it's a fair trade, for just as the Rosetta Stone revealed the language of ancient Egypt, so may these rocks unlock the mystery of the origin of the moon, and indeed even of our Earth and solar system.